Bill Yablonski says him and his family have been jumping on any tips and getting out and searching, but they're approaching six weeks since the 13-year-old James left his home in a vehicle and have found nothing more than campsites law enforcement believe he built. So his father hopes this can be the next step in getting him home. Because I don't know if he's safe. That's what really bothers me. For Bill Yablonski, it's been over a month of anguish. Mondays have become a real hard day for me to even function because that reminds me it's another week has gone by. That he hopes a reward will bring to an end with the location of his son James. This is to bring him home only. It's not on tips. $10,000 pays to the person that finds him and brings him home. That's the only ending he can accept right now. The worst outcome is the one I don't want to think about if I can help it. It goes through your mind. You, you don't understand how much you think of what the best outcome and the worst outcome, and it just keeps going through your head either way. Law enforcement believes James set off to live off the grid with survivalist handbooks and a firearm after finding camps they think he built in the woods. His father has other theories. I think this is all a setup on an abduction is what I'm thinking. The dogs circled that camp. They never went back into the woods. So that tells me he went in there, set up that temporary camp, left his stuff behind and walked back out and got in a vehicle. He says running away is very uncharacteristic of James. He's a very loving, caring and a hard worker. He likes to play around and goof around. Uh, he likes riding motorcycles and four wheelers. He's just a very outgoing kid. And that light missing from life has been hard on the whole family. My daughter, every time she sees a video, she's in tears. And my two older boys, they, uh, you're going to see that it affects them temper-wise. I just want my son home. And I don't know what to do. I reached out to the Sauk County Sheriff's Office today to see if they had any updates in the search for James. They responded that they did not. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is asked to contact them or Sauk County Crime Shoppers.